I see quite often that the dog is really small. Is the, the distance between feet and hands are really narrow. The problem is here, first, it's not really healthy for your spine, and then, think about it, from here, usually we come to the front, to the plank position. You come to the plank position, you push your shoulders forward. What you do is now, you just squeeze your feet backwards to get a proper position, proper distance from your feet and hands. Don't do this. You just, the right distance for you is when your heels are up and you, the line of your leg and your spine is in the one line. So bring your buttocks a little bit deeper, deeper, stop it. Okay, engage your legs. And when your arms are really straight, vertical, this is the right distance for you, for your downward facing dog. Now, push your buttocks back. Excellent. This is the right distance. Now let's talk about right and wrong. First of all, very often, the people are inwardly rotating the arms and they're collapsing the shoulders and also relaxing too much the neck muscles. Some people want to tuck, your, tuck the chin in and maybe also the gaze, you want to watch your navel. And also, your tailbone, you want to roll in, pull in your uh, pubic bone up to the navel. So this is what you see very common. And straighten your leg at that time. When you straighten, it's your tuck the tailbone. This is happening. That means your lower back is round, your shoulders are collapsing, and your neck curve is gone. So now, let's do it properly. Your index finger is pointing forward. That means you're gonna a little bit outwardly rotate your arms. Also, from here, very often, the shoulders are away from the ears, ears and you open your shoulders. In that moment, you're collapsing your shoulders and your neck. Please push the ground away. Excellent. Create a length. We want to create length here. Now, lift your chin up. Stop. Because you want to have a gentle curve here. And outer rotate your arms.